What's the difference between computer glasses and reading glasses? I actually get this question quite a bit, so I wanted to do a video explaining why someone might need computer glasses or reading glasses, the difference between the two, and how you can actually pick the best glasses depending on what you're doing. So let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, and I'm on a mission to do videos all about the eyes to help you with your eyes. So consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. But for today's video, let's talk about computer glasses versus reading glasses. Now make sure you stay towards the end of the video. I'll give a little bit of tips of how you can pick the best over-the-counter reading or computer glasses if that is what you choose to do over getting prescription glasses. Now let's go over the possible reasons why somebody might need computer or reading glasses. On the top of the list would be refractive error. For example, if you're farsighted, generally up close, computer or reading might be a little bit blurry or more straining to see, and so computer glasses or reading glasses would be perfect for that. Another big one is astigmatism. Astigmatism actually affects all distances, but especially computer and reading, so glasses would definitely help with that. Make sure you check out my full video about astigmatism. I'll put it up there, also in the description below. Another big one is age-related presbyopia. Presbyopia is the term when your lens inside of your eye gets a little bit less flexible and you're unable to focus up close with computer or reading. That's generally when people are starting to say, hey, my arms aren't long enough, I can't see what's close, I can't read my phone anymore, and they usually cross over into reading glasses or bifocals to kind of help that focus close up. Another one is not necessarily age related. Some people will have accommodative issues or focusing issues. And this can go all the way down to young kids that can experience eye fatigue or strain just from doing close up work, computer or doing a lot of homework, and they would actually benefit from close-up glasses. So what is the actual difference between computer glasses and reading glasses? And really what it comes down to is the focal distance or the distance of the demand away from your eyes. Generally speaking, when people are working on the computer, it sits about arm's length away, maybe 24 inches. When you're actually reading something, maybe a book or looking at your phone, it can be a little bit closer, maybe 12 to 14 inches. And so because it has different demands, different focal lengths, generally speaking, different types of glasses will work better. Generally speaking, when you're talking about close-up glasses, people usually have a maximum power that they could use, and that maximum power is the most power that they'd need depending on what they're looking at, and that's generally 12 to 14 inches, or that reading distance. Now, usually because the computer screen is a little bit further away, 24 inches, it's about 60% of that maximum power that people need. It's a little bit less of a prescription because that focal point is a little bit further away, a little bit less of a visual demand. Something a little bit more specific to computer glasses, because you're working on a digital screen, sometimes that can cause computer vision syndrome. I actually did a full video on that as well. Make sure you check that out. Out, also in the description below but because you're working on a computer screen it can cause that eye strain and so there's a few things that you can get on the glasses that may help with that one would be an AR coating or anti-reflective coating that will cut out reflections coming from either the screen or the lights in your office and that can help with eye strain as well also you can get blue blocking coatings on your lenses and that can help block the blue light which may cause eye strain. Again, I've done videos on that as well. Make sure you check that out and in the description below. Now with reading glasses, you can get AR coating as well as blue block coating, especially if you're using digital readers up close or you're using your phone a lot. Definitely can get that blue block coating on your reading glasses and AR coating. Now a big question that I get is can you just use over the counter reading glasses, the ones that you can just get at the store, at the convenience store, can I use those for the computer or reading? A lot of people can, but just remember, if you have astigmatism, astigmatism will not be corrected in those glasses. Also, if you have a different prescription for each eye, if one eye requires more power than the other one, the over-the-counter reading glasses won't customize that. They'll be the same power in both eyes. Also, depending on how far your pupil is, the pupillary distance, that won't be customized in those over-the-counter reading glasses as well. Again, a lot of people can use those just fine and be okay, but prescription glasses can customize for astigmatism, different powers, your correct pupillary distance measurements, and also add on anti-reflective coating and blue block coating as well. So definitely okay to do over-the-counter reading glasses, but prescription glasses 
are usually way better. Now, speaking of prescription computer glasses or reading glasses, I wanted to go over a couple different options for you and what might work best for you depending on what your work demand is. If you tend to do a lot of visual transitioning, meaning you look far away, you're looking at someone across the office, and then you go to look at your computer, and then you have to read something that's close to your desk or maybe on your phone in the back of your computer, and then back at your phone, and then someone far away, you have to do a lot of transitioning, then the best option is usually a progressive lens. A progressive lens has all of those possible distances in the lens. Distance, computer, reading, and everything in between. You'll just have to learn how to use that lens, but it will cover all of the bases. Now you can also accomplish the same thing with lined bifocals, specifically lined trifocals, where it has a distance intermediate for your computer and a reading power for close up. The tricky part there is it doesn't have everything in between. If you ever have to look at something in between those distances, it just has set powered dis distances, but a lot of people like that, just being able to know exactly where to look. So aligned trifocal is also an option. Now aligned bifocal is also an option if you have distance and near tasks. What you miss out of a lined bifocal is that intermediate range. So sometimes the computer can be a little bit trickier on just a typical bifocal. So just remember that, keep that in mind. Might be a little trickier with just the typical lined bifocal on the computer. Another popular option is if you're just having to look at the computer and then down at your desk, computer, desk, computer, desk, you don't really have to look at something far away. Sometimes people will do a progressive lens where the top majority portion of that lens is the computer distance and then the bottom is reading. So they kind of have the best of both worlds and a lot more viewing area. You can also do that with a line bifocal. The top is the computer, bottom is reading. You just miss out on that distance power, but if you don't really need it, that's a really good option. So the big question is how do you pick the best power? How do you get the best prescription computer glasses or reading glasses? Number one, and you probably expect me to say this, and that's to have an eye exam where you can actually get your eyes checked and get a correct prescription prescribed to you. So your doctor should be able to fine tune and customize your prescription exactly to your needs. So that is definitely by far the best way to get computer or reading glasses. If you're in a pinch and you have to use the over-the-counter reading glasses, then here are a few ways that you can kind of figure it out. One way is to actually use your age. There's kind of a general rule of thumb that people can follow depending on how old they are, of how much power they might need for their over-the-counter reading glasses. And for these ones, I'll put a guide in the description below. So make sure you check that out so you can kind of follow that rule of thumb depending on how old you are, you can pick out the right reading glasses. Another one is actually the distance of your visual demand, the distance from your eyes to whatever you're looking at. If it's the computer, some people will actually take a ruler and measure how far their eyes are from the computer screen and they'll use that measurement to get an accurate prescription or an accurate power needed. Again, in the description below, I'll put a calculation of how you can do that, convert to the, the power of reading glasses that you can pick at the store. Just remember, everybody has different eyes, different powers, astigmatism, different demands, depending on what they're doing, different visual distances. And so a lot of times these prescriptions are custom to that very person. And that's why I always recommend going in, getting an eye exam and knowing exactly what each eye individually needs at whatever distance you need to look at. Out of curiosity, what do you use? Do you use computer glasses, reading glasses? Do you have bifocals or progressive lenses? Leave it down in the comments. I'm kind of curious to see what most people use. I hope that helped explain a little bit the difference between computer glasses and reading glasses. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, focusing on you and your eyes. Make sure you check out my other videos right there. Stay focused and I'll see you in the next video.